Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Exop Mech Soul Speaks Forensic 101. Now, today, what we're going to be focusing on is another very important symptom in forensic psychiatry, and that particular symptom is hallucinations. Now, this is a relatively commonplace word. A lot of us actually know what hallucinations mean, but did you know that hallucinations are derived from the Latin word hallucinere, which basically means to wander in the mind. Hallucinations are defined as a false perception by the senses without any external object or stimuli. Now you have to differentiate this with illusions. Illusions are also a false perception of the senses, but they have some or the other external stimuli involved. It can be like a shadow or dimly lit room or something of the like, but hallucinations have absolutely no external stimuli involved. Because hallucinations are a false perception by the senses, the classification of hallucinations is completely based on our five senses. So if you know the five senses, you know the classification of hallucinations. Hallucinations are broadly divided as auditory hallucinations that are false perceptions of sound, visual hallucinations which involve the sense of sight, olfactory hallucinations that involve smell or odors, gustatory hallucinations which involve the taste, and tactile or haptic hallucinations which basically involve the sensation of touch. There are two relatively rare and uncommonly seen types of hallucinations. The first among them is something called as micropsia or Lilliputian hallucination which basically is a condition in which the individual hallucinates that either he has shrunken in size or everything around him has become larger, taller, bigger, brutish. The second relatively rare and uncommon type of hallucination is something called as a psychomotor hallucination. Now in this, the individual feels his limbs or his extremities are moving without his control and he cannot stop them. Among the various classes of hallucinations, the commonest one are auditory hallucinations which are found mostly in functional disorders like schizophrenia. Visual hallucinations are second commonest, but they are found more so in cases of organic mental disorders like delirium tremens. You also have tactile hallucinations in schizophrenia, but tactile hallucinations are also a trademark finding in cocaineism. That means the chronic use of the drug cocaine. We're going to find a little bit more about that when we do our toxicology. Medical legally speaking, hallucinations are a definitive evidence of a psychiatric disorder. That's all for today's session on hallucinations in Forensic 101. This is Dr. Soong checking out. Ciao!